Hi there, this is just a quick video. I want to show you how we use all things. A lot of people ask us how we're using all things to manage content and I think I've got a good example to show you exactly how it works or how we use it and I'm going to take you through that step by step. I'm going to try and keep it to five minutes if I can at the very most and uh, just show you exactly how we do it. Now we have, within Learning Every Day, we've got a lot of things that are happening in the background, not, not a huge amount of stuff to be honest around our content and how we manage it and a lot of it is recurring tasks so I just want to show you how we keep a keep a tab on that. Now at the moment this list here is called Content Schedule and Tasks and that's shared with Hannah and myself. So Hannah does a lot of the research and planning behind the content um, and I'm kind of involved in the publishing and getting the final say on some of the content as well. There's a lot of other things involved in this as well. So this is a single list within all things shared with two people. I'm not going to show you a client list. Some of the client stuff that we're doing is a little bit more complicated and has a bit more process behind it but this is basically how we're keeping a tab on it at the moment. So Hannah and I use this one list and we can communicate in, in, in using this list as well. If you're not familiar with all things, I'll try and keep it, I'll try and explain everything as I'm going along, but if you've already got an idea how all things work, then that would probably be helpful at this time. Now what we've done here, as you can see, we've got it stacked horizontally by different type of content. So we've got Masterclass, the Content Marketing Academy Facebook page, Facebook group, email, Content Marketing Academy article, learning every day article, social media, video, podcast, you know, content strategy website and that's called a custom list. So in all things what you can do is you can click on this I here, it takes you around to the back and you go into custom fields and what you can do is you can create a custom list and we've called it content type and in here we've got all these custom lists, okay? And then what we can do is we can then stack that by content type, okay? And what that gives me is all different types of content stacked horizontally which is handy that's exactly what I want to have so as I said Hannah shares this list as well what I'm going to take you through is I'm going to take you through piece by piece what we do and break it down for you so every week as you can see I should have done it yesterday actually is I post a masterclass Facebook group post into into that group page and also put a new video onto the masterclass TV episode as well guess what it's going to be and then on the Facebook group um, this is the, the sort of more public Facebook group. We have our Wednesday welcome and pay it forward Friday. And Hannah's going to look after that, right? But every time she ticks that off, these recurring tasks, you'll see all these blue, these are recurring tasks. When that gets ticked off, another one will appear to remind us to do it next week, okay? And if I've got something I want to do specifically in here, I can leave comments for Hannah. In fact, I'll put one in here just now. Check who has joined the group since last week. And that will stay in there every week, so I should tick that off, okay? Then we've got our content marketing companion, which is one of our more lead uh, content pieces. So it's a weekly email. So Hannah prepares that before the end of the week, sends me our notes, and then I help to put that into MailChimp. Again, we're going to be de delegating some of that to Hannah as she gets more familiar with the platforms that we're using. So that's a two-man job, basically, preparation and then publication. And you'll see that a lot actually, I've done a lot of that, so that I can be reminded, because I need to be reminded too that things need to be published. That's just an idea for an article there. Learning Every Day article, so we've got a weekly blog article that goes out on a Sunday, that's usually me that does that. But we also have our uh, Chris Mars Business Toolbox, so every Friday we publish an article about an app or a piece of software that we're using that helps us in our business and we want to show people what it can do. And again there's the pre preparation that's done by Hannah, then there's the publication that's done by me. Buffering content here, so social in general, so Hannah goes away through the week, she'll buffer lots of different articles for our social media and then on a Friday it reminds me to go in there and check buffer and make sure that all our contributions are submitted and I've just double checked that the content that we're going to be putting out on our social channels in the next week is a okay so again that's just a small thing but again it just reminds us that it needs to be done but the podcast that needs to be recorded then published again that's me that does all of that so record midweek goes away to get edited comes back i publish it and do the show notes and all the rest of it i know exactly what to do that but if i was delegating that task out i would perhaps want to have lots of sub things in here similar to the pre preparation for chris mars business toolbox you'll see that there's research draft content chris to proof draft so what I'd like, what you'd see is sort of Hannah ticking off these and then me jumping in and ticking off the things that I've done uh, as well until that, that, um, that task is complete. But Hannah's taken lead on that. 
Then we've go into like I've got an article for Ali Booth that I do every other month. Um, I've got an all things article I want to do this weekend. We've got some ideas for other articles as well that I drop in here every now and again when a thought comes to mind. And that's it really. That's how we do it. So it's custom lists stacked stacked horizontally using recurring tasks with a shared list. And it's as simple as that. And what happens is every time we come up with a new idea, a piece of content that we want to do, we put build it into our process to make sure that it happens. So as we delegate, as we grow, we can uh, we've got a system and a process of communication and making sure that the content we stay on top of our content. So I hope that helps you, gives you insight into how you can use all things to plan your content much better than a spreadsheet. Don't forget to be awesome.